This is the book of 1 Peter, chapter 4, and verse 12. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice in as much as ye be partakers of Hamashiach's suffering, that when this glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. But if ye be reproached for the name of Hamashiach, happy are ye, for the spirit of glory and of power resteth upon you. On their part he is evil spoken of, but on your part he is glorified. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rukakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Much respect to the brothers labored in this truth worldwide to wake up the elect of the children of Israel. Yeah, I was looking at a video that one of the brothers put up in the uh, San Francisco camp about this Jake come up, you know, talking shit, brandishing a weapon. But we know the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. But you got to know what you're getting into and uh, are you ready? Are you really ready for what's coming? You know, you know, Yahweh Shah told us these things were going to happen. That's why I read 1 Peter 4 and 12 through 14. You know, thinking not strange. You know, when these matter of fact, let's read it again. This is 1 Peter 4 and 12. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you as though some strange thing has happened unto you, right? So as you're going through this walk, man, you gotta realize that these things <clears throat> are prophesied to happen to you, right? Because you're going to know that these things were talked about beforehand. And everything that was written aforetime was what? Written for our learning and knowledge, right? So this is the book of John, chapter 16 and verse 1. These things have I spoken unto you, that ye should not be offended. They shall put you out of the synagogue. Yea, the time cometh that whosoever kill of you will think that he doeth the service so like it do of Yahweh's service, right? And these things will they do unto you because they have not known the Father nor me, right? So these things they're going to do because they don't know Yahweh or Yahweh Shai, right? You know, that guy got out the car screaming, there's only one God, there's only one God. And as the brother said, they don't know this guy from, from you know, from anybody. You know, he hasn't showed up, he hasn't been to the camp, but he came up brandishing a weapon, right? Talking shit. You know, the spirit of Satan was well on that, on that guy. But the brothers stayed in the spirit as we are commanded to do, you know? Verse 4. But these things have I told you, that when the time shall come, ye may remember that I told you of them. All right? So, so when the time come, man, we know that it's been uproars. We know that this economy is going to fail. And guess what? These are all the beginning of sorrows, man. You know, Yahweh Shah told us these things was going to happen. Going on. And these things I said not until you at the beginning because I was with you, right? So Yahweh Shai didn't tell us this at the beginning because he was with us, you know? You know, we, we gotta realize, man, that these things that we're gonna have to suffer for his name's sake, but we gotta be what? Faithful unto death, you see? This is the book of Revelation, chapter two and verse 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer, okay? being persecuted, being called terrorists, fear none of those things that you shall suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried, 
and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life, right? You know, you got to be faithful unto death, man. You know, you got to count the cost. You got to understand what. Are you ready for what's coming? Are you ready to go through the tribulation that's being set out for you? Because what the scriptures say, the servant is not greater than his master. You know, if your house shot went through it, guess what? You're going to go through it too, man. So are you ready for what's coming? Okay. This is the book of Matthew. Chapter 10. Verse 16. And it reads, Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Therefore, Shall I could be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves? All right. So Yahweh Shah letting us know that He sent us forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. And we got to be wise, we got to be circumspect, right? But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to councils, and they will scourge you in their synagogue. And ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake. For a testimony against them and the Gentiles. Okay. Going on. It says. But when they deliver you up. Take no thought how or what ye shall speak. For it shall be given you in that same hour. What ye shall speak. So when that when that guy came up. The brothers didn't, 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 um, didn't think about what they would speak. You know, they were stayed in the spirit, still preaching the word of the Most High, right? Still preaching the word of Yahweh Shavashah, okay? For it is not ye that speak, but the spirit, you see, of your father which speaketh in you. And the brother shall deliver up the brother to death, and the father the child, and the children shall rise up against their parents, and cause them to be put to death. Okay, and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endureth to the end shall be saved. All right, you're gonna be hated of all men, okay, the wicked two thirds, and all these other nations, okay, because they hear the gospel being preached and their wickedness is condemning them. You see, well, this is the book of Matthew. Chapter 24, verse 9. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Right? Then shall I, and then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. Okay? And these things are going to happen. And many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive many. Okay? Because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And that's what's going on, man. The love of many is waxing cold right now. Okay? And, and Yahweh Shah said these things are going to happen. You see? It says, But he that shall endure unto the end, once again, he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom, right? And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then the end shall come, okay? These things must need to happen, man. But we know the reward in the end. We know what's waiting for the men who stood stiffly. Right? This is 2nd Ezra, chapter 2. We'll start at verse 42. Okay? It says, I, Ezra, saw upon the Mount Zion a great people whom I could not number, and they all praised the Lord, Yahweh Bashar with song. Okay? And in the midst of them, there was a young man, Salakia. 
And in the midst of them, there was a young man of high stature, taller than the rest. And upon every one of their heads, he set crowns and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? And he answered, like he answered and said unto me, These be they who put off the mortal clothing. All right. So those brothers was, was, was practicing what the, what the word said, man. Not being carnal, putting off the mortal clothing, okay? It says, These be they that put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal and have confessed the name of Yahweh. Now are they crowned and receive palms. Then I, so like it, then said I unto the angel, What young person is it that crown of them and give of them palms in their hands? So he answered and said unto me, It is the son of Yahweh whom they have confessed in the world. Then I began greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh right? And those brothers were standing stiffly, man. Lord willing, we continue in that work, man. Lord willing, the Spirit is on us to we'll keep standing stiffly, okay? Lord willing, it's been edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shah, Baha Shem Rakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And much respect to the brothers laboring in this truth worldwide to wake up the elect of the children of Israel. Till the next time I say Shalom.